Hi, I'm Bryce, and today I'm going to help you answer the question, is a pizza oven worth it? We have a brand new Rockbox pizza oven here in front of us, but before we get into opening it up, I want to share a little bit about myself and how a pizza oven has been worth it for me. First off, I'm not a chef. I just love pizza and got into making it about four years ago. The thing that sparked it off was a get together with some friends. We were all hanging out in the backyard and they were making some pizzas and they were turning out amazing, like restaurant quality amazing. And ever since then, I thought to myself, why am I not making amazing pizzas in my backyard? So I dove right in and started watching some videos on fermentation and dough and what kind of tomatoes to use for sauce, mozzarella, the whole works. And after a lot of test batches and eating all those test batches, my pizzas started to turn out pretty good. I was getting pretty happy with them, but it wasn't until my wife surprised me with one of these pizza ovens that it really clicked. Not only was this oven super easy to use right out of the box, but my pizzas instantly jumped up to that restaurant level quality that I was looking for. After I started using this oven more often, word spread quickly amongst family and friends, and I became known as the pizza guy, and pizza nights became a common occurrence at our house. After all that, the oven looks and cooks like it's brand new. It's super durable and built to last. Fast forward to now, after having made hundreds of pizzas in one of these ovens, for my closest family and friends, I can definitely say for me, it was worth it. But we're here to help you answer the question, is it worth it? So. We're gonna do a little head-to-head -head showdown and we're gonna cook a couple pizzas, one being in the Rockbox pizza oven and one in a conventional home oven. Let's get right into it and unbox this oven and get you guys more familiar with it. First thing in the box is the gas burner. We also have a wood burner. Today we're gonna to be using the gas, but it's nice to know that you have both options available. The main event, there we go. Here's our Rockbox oven. We got the olive green one here today. You have your owner's manual. And then underneath that, you have this professional quality pizza peel. Super nice with the slotted finish so that you can shake off excess flour as you're launching your pizza. A little bottle open accessory that you're able to grab it right out. There's your oven. You can take that off before use so it doesn't get burnt up or warm or anything like that. Just peel that off as well before use. And then to set it up, all you do is tip it on its side and fold out the foldable legs just like that. Here it is, the gas burner. Just slide it in the slots and twist. And it should just lock right into place just like that. And then you're able to flip your oven up. Again, make sure the legs are fully extended. As you can see, super easy to set up and very portable, making it perfect to be taken with you anywhere. And you're ready to hook it up to your gas and fire it up. And just like that, that rolling flame starts right up and that should be preheating. This oven is going to reach 950 degrees pretty quickly and that 19 millimeter stone base is going to retain that heat super well as well as all of this insulation on the outside and the insulation on the outside doubles with this silicone as kind of a safe touch it will get hot but if you were to bump into it or accidentally touch it while you're cooking it's not going to burn you like this front metal piece would so we're going to head inside and get our conventional oven preheating and then we'll be making some pizzas We're ready to preheat our conventional oven. We're gonna crank it up to the max temperature it'll go, which in our case is 500 degrees, which is pretty standard for a home oven. So we're gonna turn that on here. And then one additional thing to give this oven a fighting chance versus the rock box that we're gonna do is use a pizza stone. So this will take a little bit longer than the oven does to preheat, maybe about double the time, so like 30, 45 minutes. But you just put this in while it's preheating and let it go. So we'll just toss that in there. And we'll check back in a little while once the ovens are preheated. Both our ovens are up to temperature now. The Rockbox hit its 950 degrees 
and our conventional oven hit its 500 degrees. So we're ready to make some pizzas. We're gonna make this one and bring it inside and get it going in the conventional oven because I know that one's gonna take a little bit longer than the rock box. So we'll just stretch out a dough ball here. We're gonna keep it pretty simple with just a classic margarita pizza. We good. Give our peel a little dusting of flour. You won't have this peel if you're cooking in your conventional home oven. So this is kind of cheating a little bit, but this peel is so nice that I kind of just have to use it. So we'll take this inside and get it going in our home oven. Just like that, right on the stone. And now we wait. All right, I think it's done. Here we are. There's our pizza from our conventional oven. Probably took about nine, 10 minutes to cook. Looks pretty good, but we'll head outside and cook one in the rock box so we can compare the two. All right, one more pizza to go. This one we're gonna cook in the rock box. Just gotta open up another dough ball here. Thank you. This one's gonna go a little bit quicker than the conventional oven, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on it. You can see in the back that the dough is already starting to rise, the crust is forming. I'm gonna get my turning peel. Let's get it nice and warm so I can break the seal under the pizza. This pizza will be fully done in about 60 to 90 seconds here. And just like that. There's a margarita pizza. And just comparing the two, based on looks, you can see quite a big difference. There's a bit more color on the crust of the one that came out of the rock box. And this one is just kind of still pale. Although it's done, just looks a little bit nicer coming out of the rock box. Finishing touch on both of these, a little olive oil. So here is the base of the conventional pizza. And then here is the base. You can see on this side, there's some nice leoparding going on. The rock box takes it for looks. This looks like it came straight out of a restaurant. And this looks like it came out of your home oven. There's only one thing left to do, the taste test. The most important test of all. That crust is a little bit uh, crispy. It's pretty smooth on the rock box. We'll try the conventional one first. Okay, toppings are good. The crust is almost a little undercooked on the base. Feels like a little bit doughy when you bite into it. We'll try the crust. Crust has a little bit of crisp on the outside, but a little chewy. Doesn't really feel very airy. Just kind of a lot to chew. So bear with me as I continue to chew on screen here. Let's try the one from the rock box here. You can definitely taste the difference in the, the doneness of the crust. The crust is cooked all the way through and has a little bit of that crisp and that charring on the base there, which is really nice. And the crust maintains some nice airiness on the back side, which is really, really nice. Based on my thoughts so far, you can already tell that I like this one a little bit better. This has, has potential, it is pretty good, but I think that the rock box just being so hot cooks the pizza a little bit quicker and keeps that fluffiness of the crust while also getting the bottom of it done, which obviously the difference is right there. That's pale and that is cooked. I'd say a pizza oven is definitely worth it if you wanna make restaurant quality style pizza in your backyard. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Uh, I'm gonna make a couple more pizzas and probably share with some of the neighbors. And yeah, have a good one. Hi, I'm, <laughs> why does my high sound weird every time? <laughs>